Hello, people. This is Zero. I'm here in the Civil Rights Room at the Nashville Public at the Nashville Public Library, and I bet you're wondering why I have this book in front of me. It's called the Black's Law Dictionary. It's the eighth edition. There are other editions that may affect the way. Uh, I'll get to that later. Uh, but the Black's Law Dictionary basically deals deals with the legal terms, like the legal definitions of certain words. So like what word you, what word you, you, you know that mean, that means one thing in the dictionary, actually means another thing in the black, in the Black's Law Dictionary, in the legal term, in the legal system, like a courts, like with, uh, with the police and things like that. Anything that has like, like officers of the law, or officers of the court, and so on. So, the the reason why I'm showing this today, and then what I'm going to talk about, are the difference between human rights and civil rights. So let's begin, shall we? So now we're at the definition of civil right, which means the individual rights of personal liberty guaranteed by the Bill of Rights and by the 13th, 14th, 15th, and 19th Amendments, as well as by legislation such as the Voting Rights Act. Civil rights include the right to vote, the right to due process, and the right to equal protection under the law. And they have cases right here, and if you need more clarifications on the civil liberty, and they even have uh, this right here. You know, I guess I can read that too. Uh, a common law, a person convicted of a felony became an outlaw. He lost all his civil rights and all his property became, I mean, he lost all civil rights and all his property for, became forfeited. The harsh road rule no longer prevails. Modern jurisprudence of the civil rights of a person, or the civil, uh, the harsh rule no, no longer prevails. Sorry about that, guys. Under the norm, modern jurisprudence of the civil rights of a person convicted of a crime, be a felony or a misdemeanor, are in no wise affected or diminished except in so far as express statutory provisions. So, spoke, uh, spoke, uh, Prescribe, yeah, there, there you go. Got a little tongue tied. So I give you the uh, way well, you can check it out. And yeah, I guess you can take a look at the Civil Rights Act too. Leave it up for a minute. And then we get the Civil Liberty, which basically says uh, freedom of undue governmental influence or restraint. The terms of further freedom of speech or religion in American law, early civil liberties were promulgated in laws and and liberties of Massachusetts. I guess they, they spelled different things differently back then. Examples are found. I mean, I mean yeah, I don't know if I'm reading that too far ahead. Liberties, laws, and liberties of Massachusetts. And the Civil Rights, in the Bill of Rights, in you know, 1791, in English law, examples are found in the Magna Carta, 1215, Petition of Right, Petition of Right, okay, and the Bill of Rights, also termed Civil Rights, so it goes right back to Civil Rights. So... You now know about the civil rights, so now let's let's go to the human rights. All right, now we're back. Now we're human rights. So human rights. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. I'm trying to get as close as I can. The freedoms and immunities and benefits that, according to modern values, especially at an international level. All human beings should be able 
to claim as a matter of right in the society which they live. See the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. See, and now you can you can look at you can find this in the back of the Black's Law Dictionary. So we're gonna we're gonna go to that, and then I'm gonna give you a give you a breakdown of the two. All right, these are the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, and they and all of them are broken down. So. You can, I mean, you can find this anywhere on the internet, but these are your human rights guaranteed by the UN, and they and they put these laws into place in, I think it's, yeah, 1948. Yes, that, that's the, that's the date, either 1948 or 1945, but I think it's 1948. And these are your your guaranteed rights. I mean, there's another another set of them, and there's. And there's like 30 of them. Not, not really that long to read. But, yeah, you read these and you'll find out things aren't as... That you... You might, you might find some things out uh, with your government. And what they're doing. And you might... And you're, you, may, you may feel very offended by it. And you have every right to. So... So now I'm about to give you my opinions on it. All right, back in the flash. All right, now we're gonna get into uh, the difference between civil rights and human rights. Well, the difference is when you have civil rights, they are privileges. That's why they said personal liberty, which is supposed to be based off the human rights, which are your which are really your guaranteed rights, and it's and it's not just uh, for United States it's international law. These are laws that are guaranteed to every living human being, to every human being. So these are laws that are guaranteed to you, to everyone, even me. But I guess in this country they don't really tell you that much about. Uh, Human laws, they rather have you focus on uh, on civil, civil, on civil rights. I mean, civil rights. You know, having keep you focus on keeping away from human rights, keep you focus on your civil rights. You know, they keep you away from yeah. You know, make sure I got it right. Keep you away from human rights. They keep and they they keep you away from human rights and they have you focus on the civil rights. So. So human rights, you know, that's under the Declaration, Universal Declaration of Human Rights. That was a UN Constitution. Matter of fact, they have one. There's also a, a another act they did, another declaration, the Declaration of Rights of a Child, which is also an international law, and it's like 10, 10, uh, 10 articles, articles to it, so it's very short. But these are all rights guaranteed to a child. So what I'm trying to get you to uh, understand, people, is like, you know, human rights are not for you. And like, just think about it, uh, not thinking about it. When they when they first uh, passed the Civil Rights uh, uh, Act of 1964, you know, Lyndon B. Johnson, he was adamantly racist. He was like pretty much against, uh, sorry, sorry if I keep, sorry if it's like the lights away, there's a uh, blind right here. Sun's coming this way, so it looks like it's doing pretty. It looks like it's pretty good, or like a pretty nice day outside. But yeah, he was. Let's see, I can back. Can you see? Okay, I'm looking at it. All right, I'm gonna come up this close. So, Lyndon B. Johnson, he was very racist. So, like, he was very racist. Say one more time. He was very racist against you know black people. I mean, he didn't hide it, and I think you kind of seen a little bit of it in the movie Selma. But he was, he, he I mean, he didn't really, he really didn't want to give uh, black people, so-called black people, any rights. And and he was so adamant about it. He was, but of course, you know, he eventually gave in. 
but instead of actually giving you know giving you the rights that you really wanted he gave you civil rights and he knew by giving you civil rights that you were not really getting that you that you were giving up your human rights which were guaranteed by you so when you put something when you when you have civil rights that just brings to the they don't limit you to the country. It's, it's no longer international once you do that. See, the thing about it is, human rights are. And, you know, especially because you're doing wrong, you guys take them to world court, which is in Switzerland, Switzerland, which is known as the hog. And if you want to look up the word the hog, uh, it's, I mean, the word hog is spelled H-A-G-U-E. And that's the world court. So you can take you can, you can take your government to, you can take your your government to court if you wanted to, if they're if they're not following the laws of land in that country, if they're not well not following laws not just following laws of land but not acting in a governmental capacity, and let me see. I lost train for a second. Let me get in. So I remember what I'm going to say. Sorry about that, people. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I got it. Yeah, so, so when, so like, when you, when you gave yourself rights, you, you, you took, you took the world out of it. See, only reason, only way you can, you know, I mean, really, really like, Human rights are rights that are that are yours anyway. You, no one needs to give them to you. You already have them. And and with civil rights, they're just privileges. Why do you think like uh, you know the politicians uh, vote on uh, you know try to add a new amendment to the civil rights bill like every like I think like maybe five or ten years or something like that because they don't want you they don't want you to get suspicious. Then when you're suspicious and thinking that, thinking that, oh well, you're not getting that that you that you really gave up your rights. But I mean, just like giving rights, you can always get them back. Cause like, cause like when Lyndon Baines Johnson, or LBJ, whatever, you know, after he signed it. Uh, yeah, he actually, this is actually a direct quote for him, quote, actual direct quote from him when he was talking to, uh, I think it was like two generals and uh, I think it's like two, uh, I mean, it's between three people. I think they one, I think one of them was a general, and I think two of them may have been ambassadors or, uh, or delegates or something like that. And they, he said this in, he said this in prior, but this is a direct quote from him. This is a direct quote from him. And he said, I'll have these niggers voting Democrat for the next 200 years. This is a direct quote. He actually said this. This is, a, this is like after he done signed, after he signed the act for it. They went, you know, of course, the private room or whatever. And he actually said this. So, you know, and this is from the Democratic Party, so. So yeah, that's that's one of the uh, so when you when you when you uh, you know fighting for your rights, you better know what rights you're fighting for. And oh yeah, I didn't I didn't uh, promise I would tell you about the uh, the additions. Yeah, like the thing about the additions are like every new addition they change, like they change uh, certain stuff to it. So like the farther back you go, you'll know like what certain words mean. And I would, and I would, and I would love to keep uh, doing videos talking about these laws, cause I'm, cause I'm learning myself. So, so I guess, I guess, guess that's it. So, so I hope I'm trying to make uh, make a video every week talking about these laws. So. This is zero. This is, uh, the zero effect going on. Uh, signing out. Uh, I'm zero.
Zero Bay. All right, people, remember, we're starting local, going global. And I'll see you on the next video.